So how does the Islamic Republic sell allyship with a pagan atheist PRC? Oh, now I understand. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, so how do they tell people that why are they allies of China, the uh-huh. Chinese government, um, the Islamic Republic? It's the well, I mean, as the main um, ideological priority when it comes to foreign relationship is not being Islamic. In fact, that might uh-huh. actually, in this day and age, that is that doesn't bring countries close together. That actually is driving countries away from each other, which I will explain. Like the Islam angle is not helpful. Okay, mm-hmm. um, the main thing that is helpful that you have in common is being anti-West. Especially being anti-American, mm-hmm. right? Anti-Americanism mm-hmm. is a as a commonality that is more in line, more helpful to your political alliances than being Islamic. In fact, when it comes to Islam, Iran, the Islamic Republic finds itself alone and against other Islamic countries, right? Especially Gulf Arab countries, right? So uh, many for many reasons, many people would think, "Oh, is it because they're Sunni and they're Shia?" It used to be because of that, but now it's because you know Israel having they have relationships with Israel and the West, and Iran doesn't, right? So even see like you can see the priority is who are your buddies and who are your enemies, right? So they could be Islamic. I mean, you're like, okay, well they're Sunni and they're Shia. What about Azerbaijan, right? Like mm-hmm. Azerbaijan is a very good example. Azerbaijan is not just an Islamic country, it's a Shia country. It's now an enemy an, an enemy of the Islamic Republic of Iran. You would think these countries should get along quite well, yeah. right? They have uh, they both have a lot of uh, one of them is Turkish, one of them has a lot of Turkish with, with right next to the border of Azerbaijan that actually hurts. They're both Shia, they're both Islamic countries, they're both Shia. Even like, okay. Why can't we get friends? Well, because Azerbaijan is close to Israel, it's allies of Israel, and Iran isn't. So that is more of a hindrance, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and you know, the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and these are countries that are close to the United States and now now Israel. So these make make some enemies. They make them enemies. So you can see where the priorities are. Chi- so China is a good ally because China is in competition with the United States. Mm-hmm. So if you, especially Iran cannot afford not to be a close ally with China. If yeah. you're a country that has alienated so many other countries that has been isol- have been isolated economically and politically, China is a world superpower, right? Ish, right? And when you are, when you have cut ties with other superpowers, you cannot afford to also lose China. You have to make China your buddy, buddy. Like, or else you'll suffocate. There's no, there, there will be no more breathing room politically, um, in the internet, you know, um, both politically and economically hmm. when it comes to international relationships. What do you think? Yeah, it's the, I, I agree. It's, it's the anti West bent, I think, more than anything. Um, on the, on the actual like level of the people in government. I see it being a thing if, you know, some high up official is like, why are we, why are we, you know, buddy, buddy with China? I can see somebody, you know, another high up official saying something like, well, you know, because they're authoritarian like we are. But when it comes to the actual people, um, yeah, I see the message as being, well, you know, the U.S. is screwing us over. China is really sticking it to those Americans. Might as well, might as well be friends with them. So. It makes the most yeah. sense, and that's why you see you know, North Korea and China and Russia and Iran being buddies. Right. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.